Hello everyone, I know it's been so long since you've seen a video posted on this channel, but I thought today would be a great day to vlog and get you guys all caught up on all the stuff that's been going on in my life since I last posted, which I think was in June, which is a crazy long time ago. Um, but today I have the day off and Brandon's out of town, so I'm spending the whole day cleaning, doing household things, just getting stuff off of my to-do list. So I thought it would be nice to bring you along, show you some of my home updates, show you my Halloween decor, um, and also share that I got a kitten um, shortly after I posted my last video. So around July, we got a second Siamese kitten and his name is Arlo. So I'm gonna show you him as well. And yeah, there's just so much to share with you guys. Right now I'm gonna go to Target and get a few things that I need in order to organize my house better and hang up a few pieces of art and stuff like that. But first things first, I'm just gonna show you Arlo and get it out of the way because I know that's what most of you are gonna wanna see because you all love Dahlia so much. Since Dahlia's right next to me, I'll give you a little update on her first. She is around a year and a half now and she is doing great, she's very healthy and happy, and she is so happy that she has a little brother slash best friend. Um, they are so cute together. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see um, I have a highlight story of them, and they just cuddle every day. They love each other so much. And here is Arlo. Um, he is a little shy and a little skittish. He's not like Dahlia. Um, when you go to pick him up, he does run away. He, for some reason, is just very <laughs> scared. He's just a typical scaredy cat. Um, but he does have some sweet moments where he comes up to me and acts normal. But um, usually I have to bribe him with food to <laughs> come near me. He's so weird. He's the weirdest cat I've ever met. But um, I'm just learning to accept his personality and not force him to do what I want. Um, he's just got his own thing going on. But how adorable is he? He has the prettiest eyes. Um, oh, also I didn't say his age. When we got him, he was three months. So he's around seven months now. He's getting way bigger. When we got him, he was tiny. Um, but yeah, he just has a funny little personality. Can I get close to you? Are you gonna run away? So anyways, right now I'm going to head to Target and probably head to the grocery store to get some lunch and I will catch you up on my house when I get back. I just got home from running my errands and now I am about to eat lunch. I stopped at Mother's, which is a local um, health food grocery store, and I got a vegan burrito with rice, beans, and cheese and also this quinoa um, salad. So it is a spinach quinoa, and I've gotten this before, and it is absolutely delicious. It's one of my favorite things at Mother's. And I also got a blackberry lemonade. I wanted to share that I am 70 days caffeine-free as of today, and um, I know that seems like a weird thing to be happy about, but I had an actual caffeine addiction, like a very severe caffeine addiction. I had been drinking multiple energy drinks per day since I was in middle school, which is horrible, like, for your health and your mental health and just everything. It's disgusting, and I am so happy I have given it up. My life is so much better. Anyways, I can go on and on about it all day, but if you guys want to see a video on how I gave up caffeine and my caffeine addiction story, let me know. Um, I know it sounds silly, but it really is a severe addiction for some people and it can affect every aspect of your life. So anyways, I just wanted to share that. Let me know if you're interested in seeing a video on that. Yeah. Yeah. Kinder fucking spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is so I, I wrote this so the first thing on my cleaning to-do list today is I'm gonna go through my closets and go through all of my clothing, my shoes, accessories, all of that, and hopefully um, sell some of my stuff. I sell all of my used vintage clothes at the antique mall that me and my mom have a space at called Magnolia and Willow. So I'm gonna run over there after I go through my closets and price some stuff and put it out to sell. So if you're interested in buying any of my used vintage clothes, Clothes. Um, they are all at Magnolia and Willow and it's located in Long Beach. Also in that last clip of my cats, the 
background sound was a podcast called My Favorite Murder. I'm sure most of you already know about it. It's a very popular podcast. Um, but it is my favorite thing right now. So I listen to that while I clean and it's so entertaining and I just love it. If you love true crime and creepy stuff, you will definitely like it. So this is the first closet I'm going through and it is in complete shambles right now. I'm not even gonna show the bottom because it's most of Brandon's stuff that he really needs to sort through. But I'm gonna wait for him to get home to go through the bottom part. But this is mainly my coats and longer dresses or things I just don't wear as often that um, isn't in my closet in my bedroom. But anyways, it really needs to be sorted through, so I'm going to start with this closet first. So while organizing the other closet, I realized I kind of have to organize both simultaneously because I'm going to be moving some of the clothes in there into this one, and this one is in my bedroom. Um, and it's a huge mess like the other one. I've just been throwing shoes on the ground. I really need to sell some of my shoes. Um, yeah, I'm usually not this messy, but I've known that I'm gonna be organizing this weekend. So I've just been, you know, throwing things all around. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to do in here. Okay, I've got one closet down. It looks way better in here. You can actually see the floor. Um, I moved a lot of my clothes that were in the other closet into this one, so it's a little more jam-packed in here, but these are more of the clothes I use every day, so it just makes sense for them to be in my bedroom. But I organized and am getting rid of a few shoes that I had in here. If you have a small closet like this one, I highly recommend getting creative, getting cute hooks. Like this is a Boy Scout tie um, rack thing, and I just use it to hang all of my scarves. I have an accordion hook right here, and then just a bunch of other cute hooks, like that one. You can't really see them because stuff's on it, but it's a great way to display your bags and make them visible, but also look nice and organized. And then these shoe rack shelves are from Ikea, and I love these. They have saved so much space in here because even though they're two racks, it's kind of like having three. Also, this is my favorite suitcase. It is from Herschel, and it is just the best carry-on. Thought I'd mention that. Does anyone else just feel so much more motivated when their closet is clean to wear their clothes? Because when my closet's dirty, I just wear the same thing every day because I don't even want to come in here. So this is really, really beneficial for my life right now. I really needed this. This closet is just all over the dining room right now but I'm about to go to Magnolia and Willow to bring in some of the clothes I'm selling, so this will have to wait for me when I come home. This is the cat's favorite place. Usually they're both up on the chair together and cuddling, but Arlo's being very sweet right now. Hi, baby. Hi. I just got back from the shop and I realized one of the life updates that I wanted to share with you guys is that my mom and I expanded our space this summer. It's way bigger now, probably double the space. I'll insert a clip right now. So right now our space is a little bit messy because a bunch of stuff sold and we need to replenish and put in some new furniture. But just to give you an idea of how much bigger it is, so we have a full clothing section and a lot more space for bigger furniture. So we do get a lot of furniture in. So check out our Instagram, it's make do and mend vintage. I'll link it down below and also follow the shop Magnolia and Willow on Instagram. This day has totally escaped me and I'm starting to lose daylight hours. So I wanna show you my Halloween decorations before it gets dark out. My mantle is fairly similar to what I did last year. I know I used the banner last year, but I got that at the Vintage Emporium, which is a little shop in Long Beach that I love. Um, I was recently in Dallas and I got these little Halloween paper things that I taped onto the mantle. These three girls I have on here all year round, but I feel like they can kind of go with a Halloween theme. This cat I got last year at Vintage Emporium as well. This Ouija board I've had for a while. I don't remember where I got it. People freak out on Instagram and stuff that I have a Ouija board in my place. Um, but really it's just a toy. Like I don't, I don't think Ouija boards are actually a thing. Um, if you have a different experience, let me know. I'd love to hear about that. I love hearing ghost stories and stuff. So 
or maybe don't tell me maybe that would freak me out I don't know <laughs> anyways um, these two cats I also got in Dallas at an antique mall they are new they're not vintage but they I bought them secondhand obviously these little pumpkins I got last year this one I have a flameless candle inside I only put candles up really high because I'm afraid that the cats are gonna jump on them or something. I don't think they could right here, but just to be safe, I do flameless candles from um, World Market. This chocolate box is from Vegan Treats. Our friend sent us a vegan chocolate box last year for Halloween, and this is what it came in. It is adorable. It's supposed to look like a Ouija board kind of thing, but I love the way it looks on my mantle. And then this stuff I have all year round as well. Also, I just put this little bag up here, but I grabbed this from Magnolia and Willow while I was there because it was only a dollar and it is adorable. It's a little trick-or-treat candy bag that people used to pass out with candy in it. In my kitchen, I have some dish towels. I got these from Dallas. Uh, the company is Primitives by Kathy and they sell these a lot in Texas, like her company all over. I was seeing a lot of them, but they are just so cute. I love the cat one. Um, and then I also have this one and from World Market I got this Halloween countdown thing with a cute cat on it. Also from World Market I got these coasters. There was a set of four all Halloween themed and I love them so much. I kind of want to just keep them out all year round and have that one on top or something. They're adorable. All right, it is time for me to get back to that mess, so wish me luck. Okay, I'm finally done with this closet. Um, if you couldn't already tell when I showed my other closet, I do color coordinate and categorize all my clothes that are in closets, and it really makes it easier to see where everything is, and I just really like the way it looks organized, so I highly suggest if you're trying to organize your closet to do it that way. It's just the best system. Now I'm gonna set up this shelf. This is the reason I went to Target. Um, I got this metal shelf to put in the shared room I have with my neighbors. Um, it's mainly just for cleaning supplies and stuff we use that room for, but I have a little wall where I keep my recycling bin and I wanna utilize it better. So I feel like this is a great way to utilize the space in there. All right, I got the shelf put together. So now I'm gonna start working on organizing the common room. So this is what the space currently looks like. Obviously, I'm not utilizing it at all, so I will show you after with the shelf. And here is the after. It looks so much better, and I'm able to store way more stuff in here now. Also, I wanted to share that the other day I organized my cleaning supplies under my sink, and I got some of these 3M hooks and some little containers, and it just looks so much better down here. It used to be a mess. I didn't have those containers before, so I like tried to keep it organized in rows, but it just always looked terrible, and now it looks so nice and makes me wanna clean my house. I just hung a bunch of stuff that I've been meaning to hang forever in my hallway, so I'm gonna give you a little updated hallway tour. So this is what this side of the hallway currently looks like. I do plan on adding a few more things in time over here, and then also above there. And then this side is Brandon's tour posters and my street plant stuff. Um, I'm going to be adding another poster right there pretty soon and also right there. And then we have the black flag. In the bathroom, I just added these two prints. Um, these we actually got, I think, either before Lucy was born or right after she was born and they were in her nursery when she was a baby. Um, she didn't want them in her new room, so I decided to take them because they look so cute in my bathroom. If she ever wants them back um, when she has kids or has a house or something, um, she's welcome to have them back, but it made me sad that they weren't gonna go on the wall, so I wanted to keep them, and they remind me of very happy times. So I just mentioned that Lucy has a new room, and that's because my family moved into a new home and it's actually a quite a bit closer to my apartment and if you guys don't already know i own a skateboard company with my dad so i'm driving to their house every day that's where i work 
and um, the new house is so nice. It's so much bigger than their old house. It has a huge backyard, huge garage. It's beautiful. It's um, a 1950s mid-century classic house. Uh, so I'm sure in future vlogs you'll get glimpses of their house. It's really amazing. And Lucy also did a couple of vlogs, I think a month or two ago, right after they moved in showing her new room and stuff. So I'll link her video down below if you guys are interested in seeing their new house. I am not in the mood for dinner at all. That lunch filled me up so much, but I do think I'm going to make some banana bread. Um, the recipe is on my blog, The Vintage Vegans. And I'm pretty sure I have all the ingredients. I need to double check, but I think I'd rather eat that for dinner. I'm really just craving some carbs. Um, but yeah, how cute is little Arlo? All right, here are all of the ingredients. Um, my recipe does call for four bananas, but I only have three that are ripe enough. So I think that should be fine. I think I've done that before and it still turns out good. But the ingredients are organic applesauce, cane sugar, um, any salt, but for sweet recipes, I like to use this violet salt. It really makes no difference though. Um, vanilla extract. In the recipe, I use bourbon vanilla extract, but you definitely don't need to use that either. Excuse the cats in their litter box. Um, vegan earth balance butter, flour, baking soda, baking powder, turmeric, pumpkin pie spice, and ground cinnamon. First things first, we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Next, just grease up a loaf pan. I'm using this Pyrex dish. I think it's a nine by five dish. In the recipe, I use the follow your heart vegan egg, but typically for baked goods, um, I've been using just an applesauce egg. And all that is is a quarter cup of applesauce and a half teaspoon of baking powder. And um, I do find that I like using this more than the follow your heart egg. The follow your heart egg is really great for some recipes, but for breads and stuff, this is just way easier and I usually have it on hand. Next, you mash up the bananas and melt it earth balance in a big mixing bowl. After that, you mix in the baking soda, salt, and all of the spices. I just mixed in the sugar, the applesauce egg mixture, and vanilla extract. I just mixed in the flour and now this is ready to go into the pan and into the oven. All right, I transferred the batter into the loaf pan and I had a little taste of the batter and it already tastes delicious so I am so excited to eat this. That's going to be baking for about an hour so I am going to Swiffer my whole apartment and then watch Sabrina and eat my pumpkin bread. I use this magnet timer while I'm cooking and baking and it is just so much more fun than using your phone. I got it from Anthropology, and I use it quite a bit. Every Sunday night I like to plan out my week in my planner and we're actually starting a new month this week so that's kind of crazy but this planner is really cool it's made by the company native bear i love that there's an intention of the week it shows all the moon cycles and astrological sign symbols and all sorts of stuff like that and then you can plan out your month and make goals and then there's also just a normal calendar section, but I have been so much more organized since using this planner. Um, I just really love the format of it. And there's also so many notes pages, which I use a lot as well. So in between each week, there's a notes page. But yeah, I'm gonna plan out my week right now and get organized. I just took the banana bread out of the oven and it looks amazing. So while this is cooling, I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready to watch Sabrina. I just made tomorrow's breakfast, which is just overnight oats. And I'll put the recipe I've been using down below in the description. It's so simple and it's just the best breakfast. I forgot to share some of my Halloween decorations earlier. So I have out my Monster Mash vinyl my Stranger Things vinyl, and this letter board. And I also have my Edward Scissorhands art, but I actually have this out all year round, but it's very fitting for Halloween. All right, that is it for this video. Um, I do wanna keep making videos more regularly, and I have a few ideas of some things I wanna do. I'm really interested in housekeeping 
and like meal prep type videos right now those are the videos i'm searching out so i figured maybe some of you would like to see that kind of stuff as well so just let me know i'm thinking of doing cleaning routines and just random household decorating things so if you want to get specific and let me know exact videos you want to see please comment down below and let me know um but besides that thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you very soon